Mr. Fairy, do you believe in ghosts? Like the spooky ghost ship that sails at night. Me, I believe in fairies, but I don't believe in ghosts because they're scary. <laughs> Thank you, Tingle. So if you don't believe in something, it doesn't exist, therefore it cannot scare you. Exactly! This is, what t this is how Tingle works. If you are a bother to his master plan, he will forget that you exist. And thus, his nefarious plan will be set in motion. Oh. Ha -ha! You have to laugh like Chugga Conroy every time you say a pun. It's true. Goodbye. And good riddance. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. Last time, Mr. Fairy, use your hookshot to climb up. We Thank got you, a lot of the Triforce charts, and this time, we are getting, hopefully, the last of them, though I kinda doubt it, but we're reaching the, the end of the tunnel, I guess, with Nova's favorite chart, and honestly, it's one of the cooler things in a Zelda game, because it's a ghost ship! We've seen it so many times and heard its awesome theme, and now, at long last, we're actually doing it, and we're at, could you show the island real quick? We're at Diamond Steppy Island. Island. Diamond Step Island. I can't justify saying that. And we're about to enter a mini dungeon. Yay. Which is neat. It's neat because of Sean Connery. This mini dungeon is... It's remarkably contained. But also, it's really, it's really well segregated, so it seems like it's a, a giant expansive area. There is a maze of fog pots and floor masters scattered everywhere. Now, we're not using a guide for this. In fact, we haven't used a guide for anything other than just random collectibles or quests like this. So we're not actually, we don't actually know where we're going. So that'll be fun. Oh, uh, I hate those things. Could you, like, oh wow, nice. At least we get to know its health bar so we can know, you know, how to do. But did you see that, like, 360 nice. no-scope there? Yeah, that was pretty nice. You shot him while his hand was on your face. Mm -hmm. And without targeting him. Now, I'd need to be the first to point out that Ryan actually commented on one of these videos and said, This is not the Shadow Claw of Moses. It's just the hand of Moses. Ah. Moses is reaching through... Um... Through what? The void? The void of Joshua. <laughs> oh my. And contacting us through the void of Joshua. But what is he trying to tell us? Um, he's trying to tell us that Arby's is good. <laughs> I don't know. Also, joy pendants are probably one of the most useless things ever. Sure, they got us the sweet mask, but... Uh, uh, why? Now, it should be noted that you can kind of break this area by strategically using your Deku Leaf, which is pretty sweet. But we're just not going to do it. We're not doing anything fun, this LP. Nice. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Watch out for him retreating. Nice. Yet yeah, those things can die, as far as I'm concerned. Nice. Okay. Floored myself there. The good thing is that as long as he has pots to throw, he'll stay out. And he'll... Really, they're just obsessed with round things. If there's a round thing near... Actually, they are! Wait! They wanted... Just like Link! Exactly! That's where I was going. They want Toon Link's head, which is odd and creepy if you think about it. And they wanted Medley's head and Makar's body and pots and bombs. They just want round things. I'm trying to fit that in with Moses, but I, I can't really. <laughs> I realized I took the, the wrong route. Nice. Can you grab me up here? Oh, he <laughs> tried! He tried! He just had his hand up in the air like he just doesn't care. Okay, um... I need to try shooting those there. pots. No, no, try shooting the pots. Because maybe you might be able to kind of reverse engineer it. It's not random. I know, but those pots lead out somewhere, right? Oh, I didn't realize that the, the start is actually elevated. It's not. Just jump down. What do you mean it's not? It's not. You can see the, the spire. It's like the, shining the up from behind that oh. piece of boat. Okay, uh, try just going in the one next to you. The, the, the one on the right, because the right way is the right way. 
Also, I need to pay attention to see if uh, floor masters are left hands or right hands. Hmm. And if they are, do they differ? Because there are differences with different enemies. Yeah. There are like four different shades. Uh, oh my goodness. There are like four different shades. Where are you going? Oops. oops. What? Uh, now in here, get the joy pendant from the chest next to the warp jar. Uh, jump down and enter the warp jar directly underneath the gap. So to your left. This one. Yes, the one that you were going to enter originally before I said, no, bro, the right way is the right way. But the right way was the wrong way. Yes. So is the... Here's the my question. Is the right way? Why is it that we don't call our right hand, our left hand our wrong hand if our right hand is the right hand? This is a good question. Okay, uh, next, we're, I'm actually using the guide at this point. Next, I would like you to go... The one, be the jar behind and to the left of the floor master. Wait, so what was that? Behind and to the left, so that left one. And that should make you the winner. Not the, not the wiener, the winner. Also, it's sad I cannot help her with Tingle at this point. If so, we could totally break it with, with, uh, balloons. Tingle balloon, yeah. Oh boy. Get away from me! Oh boy, also I know what the end slate's going to be. That was a cool shot right there! With you jumping and the hand just reaching for you. I've been getting a lot of cool action shots. And honestly, the thumbnail is probably my mo my f most most favorite? Yeah, that's that's the thing. Most favorite most favorite part of the editing process because it you I only do it after I've finished editing an episode so I can pick the thumbnail that kind of defines the episode. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of fun because the video is exporting and I I get to pick out the thumbnail and the last couple ones have been have been gold. I liked the one with the uh, Stalfos and the Redid. Yes, that is my favorite one thus far. Possibly in the history of the channel. Quite really? possibly, yes. Then there was... Quite often when I let's play a game, I will actually consider its viability for a thumbnail. To see if I need an, uh, a uniform thumbnail or I can if I can do it by episode. And with Scarlet Sword, it was going to be one... You can leave now. It was going to be one that I was going to do a uniform thumbnail, because I didn't think there would be that many... What? <laughs> there, were, there were going to be that many uh, cutscenes, but I was actually surprised. There is a cutscene every single episode in Scarlet Sword. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think there's one or two exceptions, um, but it is other a, than that... It is a pretty story-heavy game. They yeah. don't give you much time oh. to yourself. Blue Choo Choo, okay. There. This was not intentional at all. Okay, so what? Oh. Oh wow! It shows it on their map. Just appears right there. How okay, handy. so we're going to chase that thing down by warping up to Dragon Roost and then sailing northwest. Hopefully, we'll get there in time. And then entering the ghost ship. It's spooky and scary. And just you know like what, skeletons. And you know what it does? What? It sends shiver da shivers down your spine. Or your rib cage. Check it out. There's something at the bottom of the sea here. It must have been one of those pole maggots I dealt with last time. <laughs> okay, hopefully we can make it to the ghost ship in time. Like, we're cu we're cutting it close. We are. That's how we always do it. There it is. Oh, it's on the other side of the island. Snap. We may not make it. You know what? Man, that is just I'm so I'm going to summon it forth. Oh. 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 It worked, Nova. My singing did it. Oh, oh wait, wait, take a look around. Oh. oh. What oh. is that? Is that supposed to be water? Oh, it could like be. Like, it's sinking? That is so creepy and awesome. Like, the dungeon itself is kind of, or the place itself is kind of poorly executed with everything, but it's, it's so good. I love creepiness. Why is it that people like creepiness? Adrenaline. Hmm, okay. Jump down. Um... What do I want to use this time? This ship is one that Tingle used to captain. I what? wish I knew where it was. Are you ad-libbing that? Yes. Okay, what is that thing? Oh, it's a flower. Don't kill the flower. You killed the flower. Somehow. <gasps> Did you hit use your sword there? No. Just walking through it killed it? That is actually pretty... That's a cool touch. Like, that's legitimately cool. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, it's it's not that hard, sadly. It it is really sad because it's it's basically a submarine. I would have been perfectly fine if this were a dungeon in the game. That would have been nice. It would have been so good, so cool. Also, you might want to kill uh, Mr. Man before he summons more Stalfos. Oh, true. Oops, can't do it with that. No, you can't. Oh. No. Freeze him. Freeze him. Yeah. And blow him up. That was stylish. Hey. And it immediately dropped a, b a ball. Okay. Uh, yeah. You really need to take care of that. That. Uh, was robe. He's becoming a big problem. Yeah. Where is he? Go. There is. Okay. I don't think that killed him, but it'll come close. Come on. No. Okay. It's a good thing that the Stalfos are extremely slow. Nice. Okay. I'm not sure if any more enemies will spawn after this, but I don't believe they will. So after this, you should be good. Also, he's laughing. Okay. Also, I I'd been wondering what the health, what the uh, the mask does with the whole health bar of the Stealthos, and it actually just shows the health bar of the head. Okay. And now everything's dead. Yeah, it's it's really kind of sad. They could have gone further. Yeah. They could have introduced... Okay, what about this? What do you think of this? Phantom Dark Nuts. Ooh, yes. See, that's, that's part of this game. It's a great game. People love it. It's It was part of the age where Nintendo started going off the beaten trail and saying, hey, we're going to do what people don't want us to do, and then we're going to succeed at it. So like Retro Studios, stuff like that. Yeah. Metroid Prime. But with this, years later, the game feels rushed. It does. It feels actually, it's not even, it's not even minute. It does. While there are parts of it that are cool, it still feels like if it were released today, there would be, for example, that, they would introduce a ton of new enemies. I mean, there's no questioning it. There would be a, at least five new enemies right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, let's see, where are we going to go next? Uh, we're, we're going to cut to where we can get another uh, Triforce chart, but as of this point, we don't really know because we got that done quicker than I expected. All right, be right back. All right, we are here. Now, how do we do this again? I. Oh, there are switches. Sure. There are switches on the top of everything. Now, this episode may be, get a little bit long, uh, but that's mainly we need hoi pair. Okay. This episode may get a little bit long simply because I would like to get all of the Triforce charts or the rest of them this episode. And we only have two left. Yeah, we only have two. So even if this episode's a tiny bit long, I'd still like to do it, dog. Oh, Blue Choo Choo. Man, we've been getting these, and we may... I how many do we have? How many How many jellies? Oh. Three left in the entire game. And none of these have been intentionally acquired. Okay, so, so could you use your, your bow for those that the we don't... Ones. Yeah, I don't think there's a timer on it. There better not be. Okay, so there's one. So we need to hit the switches on the top of each spire. Uh, you didn't hit the, the thing, you know that, right? I can hit the switches with the seagull. True. But if I take out the rocks, it makes it easier. Nice, and... Last one is going to be a very hard shot. Ah. Machine gunning doesn't work. I, I think you can handle one, Nova. Oh, but I like using my bow. <sighs> You're not going to hit it. I'm pretty sure the arrows despawn. Maybe they do. Okay. There you go. Well, we have two <laughs> we have two hoi pairs, so you can see we've prepared. <laughs> we've definitely prepared. Oh drat, there's a bird on the other side too. Oh boy. Okay, please, please don't make us have to go back. Like, please. 
Okay, watch out. I can't help you here. So, can't please. You? No, I can't. I can't even, like, lock onto you. Okay, please be safe. There he is. Little devil. Ah, oh, it's morning already. I fell asleep. I never fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, l lure him down there and grab that. I'm so glad these aren't on a timer. That would be ridiculous. Okay, watch out for Birdman. See, if you were a disgusting Birdman, you would be chasing normal birds that aren't disgusting Birdman. Got both of them. Uh, I only saw one. Hey, please. You got it. Yes, yes, you're you're home free. You're home free. Hit it. Yes. Nailed good it. try. Well, not good try. Good success, Nova. Now, do you really need to fly back? Yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys. Why? What did they do to you? Well, this time nothing actually. Also, your chicken soup is gone. Oh, it is. Hey, birds. <laughs> Did I kill him? Did I do good? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Violent much? Okay, could you go in the door? Oh. There's no feather. There was a feather, it just despawned. And you know what? I don't regret a thing I did. Uh, you know what I do regret? The fact that it says you're not on land right now. It says you're in the middle of the ocean. Seems about right. Yeah. Game Boy, everyone. Ooh. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's like a, a shrine in the middle of nowhere. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, if this were Ocarina of Time, and it, the area wasn't flooded, there would have been a whole dungeon just to get up to the top of the mountain. You know? Mm. In fact, yeah. this was likely Death Mountain itself. There's proof. I think. You know what's probably Death Mountain? What? The fi fire lava spewing giant thing? Yeah. It's probably the probably Death Mountain. Alright, now that I've sidetracked the episode, that is going to be it for this island. We're going to go to the next island and not end it here because I need the last thing, which is at Stone Watcher Island. Let's go. Yeah, I believe this is a mini dungeon. In fact, this is the one I was thinking of earlier. This is Stonewatcher Island. Once again, the episode's probably getting fairly long, but I want to finish this in one take, so we're going to do it, bro. Do it, Nova! What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, this, this is the island I thought Bomb Island was. I was like, there's a dungeon here. And there wasn't. <laughs> okay, are you gonna... This is, this is funny. Are, are you done? <laughs> okay, throw it. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That Whoa. was. That was weird. <laughs> There's weird static on the screen. Oh, by the way, uh, this episode's being recorded with something new. Um, it's not. It's not new equipment. More like it is new Elgato software, which I had to reconfigure almost from the ground up before the episode started. Man, that makes me feel important saying that. And so, if you've spot anything bad in the recording, then just tell me because I might miss it in editing. YouTube may recognize it differently. So, yeah. Also, it's sad because Tingle's not been able to do anything for, like, the entire LP. Except blow a couple people up. <laughs> oh, and, and then say, Hey. Tingle has provided all the comedy. Yeah, well, Let's not just all be of honest it. here. Not all of it. There is some... This LP has been pretty fun, fun and funny. I would say if it weren't for some of the things of like problems with the recording and being sick as I am every single October, this would have been, this is probably the oh. best. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to say it. This is the best co-op LP I've ever released, even though I've released a, like two or three. 
it's still the best, and I, I like it a lot. Even if Nova doesn't always like recording, just because of headset difficulties, she doesn't really feel like the headset is comfortable. Nope. Neither does, neither do any of the other pals. I'm the only one who does. And to be fair, it hurt me for a long time during Skyward Sword until I got used to it. But this LP has been going on for months now, and my ears still hurt because of the headset. This LP has been going on for about twice as twice longer than it should have, because I had to change the schedule due to school. Episodes have been skipped because of school. Um, and, and you being sick. And I was sick. It was not as bad as it in, in Okami. Now, True. the episode's grown a lot since then, so in case you weren't around then, I was sick with everything under the sun. Like, you name it, I almost had it, except cancer. That was pretty much the only thing I didn't have. Um, if I can laundry list it out here, I had pink eye, a sore throat, a cold, um, a little bit of the flu, I had um, ear infections, which eventually led to a complete upper respiratory infection. Ironically, Chug Conroy also had to hiatus the channel at the exact same time for the same reasons. And... Uh, yeah, I had all that going on at once, and I was deaf, no joke, for about a month. Would you agree? Yeah, it was pretty difficult trying to talk to you, because you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. I mean, I could hear, but it was to the point where I would have to have people yell to me. It was awful, and then I got my hearing back in my left ear within, I think, the next four months it came back. So this was, this is the m most sick I've ever been in my life. So this wasn't as bad as that. Oh, I also had tonsillitis. Yeah. There are, there are some people who remember that, and they stuck with me through that entire thing, which I'm really proud of. This, this dungeon seems easier than the one I did. I just use items and go through it quicker than you do. What do I use? Your sword. Well, that's how you, you're supposed to do it. Like Piccolo, you just punch it out. Yeah, see, this one is easier because I had four Dark Nuts and you have two. And you don't even get the special, like, cream colored ones. You get the white ones. No one you, likes know, white. you know what the cream colored ones remind me of? The coffee? Cream soda. They remind me of coffee with a bunch of creamer in it. I told you that's fun. It is. This is the first time you've done it. Yeah. Okay, do, do like the hurricane spin. Sweet. Also, you did it without getting hit. Good job. Just charge up the hurricane spin. It is really fun to toy with these guys. Come on. Yeah, you have to. They have to see you charge it. Yeah. So you you have to kind of run away, face them, and then charge it. So like, charge it now. 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 No. 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 Okay, run there and charge it. You have to be facing them. Face them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now just leave it. There you go. That is so cool. Yeah. And it did damage. You see that? Yeah. It does damage without even without even uh, going through their armor. Or go it goes through their armor, but it doesn't cut it off. Yeah. I, I've been I feel like I've been kind of complaining about this game a lot recently, but I think it's partially because of all of the praise it gets, and there's hardly ever any criticism for it. People are like, man, this is such a good Zelda game. I'm like, yeah, it has flaws. And they're like, yes, yeah, Skyward Sword is not that good because Fee tells you to refill the batteries of your remote. Nova actually never, she made it, never made it past the first dungeon. Yeah, I got bored with it. And I know you say that it gets more interesting, but I just couldn't stick with it that long. You should have. Like, literally, some of the things in the game, when I saw them, I had never done this in Zelda game. I said, wow. You know, like, I, no one was nearby, and I was, I just go, wow. Really? That's amazing. When I first hear that Gurahim has a theme, I just... My mouth just kind of drops. I'm, I'm just like, wow, this is much better than, than the Deborah that we had come to know. Do you remember that? That was Gurham's code name. Oh, was it? Among fans, people called him Deborah for the longest time. No, 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 no. It was Debbie. It was Debbie. Yeah. Yeah, we called him Debbie because 
I have no clue why we called him Debbie, but but everyone did. No clue. Okay. You wanna... This episode has just been... You know, in Skyward Sword, this is what happened. Okay, so... Now that we've gotten all of the charts, we can get the shards. We're going to binge get all of the shards next episode. Which means we're, it's going to require a lot of off-screen money, money farming. Uh, off-screen, I'm also going to try to get uh, chart locations of every single island. Fill that out. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that off-screen. And then we're going to get all the shards in one episode. And we, we're going to have the Triforce next time. That's awesome. That means we'll be courageous. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's your pun? No, it wasn't a pun. It's kind of a pun-ish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is going to be it for, the, for this episode. If you enjoyed it in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode... Uh, hold th hold that thought. Blue Choo Choo on uh, map, please. Map, please. Headstone Island. Or sorry, sorry, my bad. Stone Watcher Island. Okay, now back to the outro. Uh, please click <laughs> like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. We release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays and Fridays, and join me next time and Nova when we get the Triforce. Of courage. Yeah. This game's almost over. Wow. I was I was looking at it before we started recording and I just think, wow, we have so much more to do, but no, we we don't. We really don't. Wow. Okay, join us next time. Thank you for staying with us for this long episode. Alright. See ya!